How you doing YouTube? This is Gunnery Sergeant 67 bringing you another YouTube video. Today's YouTube video is going to be on if I could only take five items to bug out with, what would they be? All right, YouTube, let's go ahead and get into it. My very first item that I would bring with my five items that if I only had five items what I would bug out with would be a nice fixed blade knife. And what I would go ahead and take with me is this Mora Garberg carbon steel variant. So I've done a review on this knife before. I went ahead and put it through some of its paces. And this thing is an absolute champ. It's got a nice thick spine. It's got a 90 degree spine, perfect for ferrule rods, and it's got a Scandi grind. And Scandi grinds, they bite into wood really, really well. It goes really deep. And the carbon steel model is very, very easy to sharpen. Um, it's very light. Um, it's got like a diamond coating. Um, the tang and it's a full tang, it goes all the way through the handle. Um, if you wanna go ahead and uh, see a review on this, uh, go ahead and go over to my channel and go take a look at that video. But you definitely want a fixed blade knife if you can only take five items to bug out because this allows you to uh, make other tools. It allows you to um, go ahead and uh, prepare a game once you catch it. It allows you to cut uh, cordage, um, helps build shelters, baton wood, uh, and aids in fire making. The knife is the standard tool for any bush crafter or anyone that is bugging out. You gotta have a good cutting tool. And mine for this scenario is the Mora Garberg carbon steel version. My second item of the five items, if I can only take five items to bug out with, bug out with would be this Holtzman Gorilla Survival Ferro Rod. Um, it goes without saying that one of the most important things that you can go ahead and do is the, the ability to uh, make a fire. And to make a fire, you wind up um, providing yourself with illumination, uh, uh, body temperature control, you have the ability to cook food, and then you also have the ability to purify water. So this ferro rod is a half inch thick ferro rod, and it's six inches long, got the nice gorilla um, emblem in there. It's got a nice lanyard hole. It's nice long. This ferro rod, it claims that this one can go ahead and provide up to 16,000 strikes. So I would definitely take this with me if I can only take five items. It also comes with a nice striker. It's also got a, a gorilla on it. This is awesome. And then also too, it comes with a nice lanyard that even the lanyard has a small extra ferrule rod. But yes, you wanna go ahead and have some type of ability to make fire rapidly. Um, could you go ahead and bring a lighter? Yes, you could. Um, but me personally, if that lighter gets wet, um, you can't really use it too much. I mean, you could, you could probably use a flint inside, but it's going to take a lot of time. With this, you, this throws really, really, really hot sparks. And uh, if I get it wet, it's still going to go ahead and perform. So my number two item is this Holtzman Gorilla Survival Ferrell Rod. My third item of my, if I could only take five items to bug out 
with would be this Pathfinder School water bottle cook set. So um, if you're bugging out, you definitely want a way to hold your water and purify it. So this right here is a 32 ounce water bottle and the 32 ounce water bottle cook set comes with a nesting cup that's 25 ounces. This water bottle is 32 ounces. It comes with this little uh, stove stand that you can either put this in a fire that you make itself and then put this right on top of it. That way water boils and purifies. Um, and then once you get that knocked out of the way, you can go ahead and take the water that you've just purified and you can pour it into this nesting cup and let it cool down while you go ahead and fill this back up, put it back into the fire and you can continue to boil water. That way you're letting the water cool and you're going ahead and purifying more water. You're not waiting around for the water to cool in the same container and then you go ahead and drink it and then you have to go ahead and go do the whole process again. So you're saving time. Boiling water, cooling, drinking. So you have two separate containers. Additionally too, if you want to use this cup to boil, you've got this um, lid that you can put it on that definitely helps boil and it keeps things in there if you want to cook as well. And it, it's definitely a good piece of kit. It's definitely a very compact um, cooking kit to bug out with. My fourth item in my, if I can only take five items to bug out with, would be this USMC three bag sleeping system. Now this sleeping system, it consists of three bags. It consists of a green patrol bag, a green patrol sleeping bag that can be uh, comfortably utilized all the way up uh, summer, spring, and fall. And then it has a thicker, heavier black sleeping bag that is uh, rated for the winter time for most states. And then you have a third bag, which is a Gore-Tex, basically bivy cover. When you combine all three sleeping bags, this bag right here is rated for 50 below zero. Now, I have never been able to test this in an environment that got down to 50 below. But what I did test it in when I was in the Marine Corps going through uh, Bridgeport before I did my second deployment to Afghanistan, it got down to 20 below zero. And this bag was, it, it, it was perfect. It actually, even with me being in 20 below utilizing the sleeping bag, it still got a little toasty and I had to open up the bag from time to time. That way I can cool off and I didn't sweat. So I definitely would go ahead and utilize this sleeping bag if I could only take five items to bug out with. Now I picked this Visa tarp because with a Gore-Tex bivy cover, this winds up keeping the rain off of me and it keeps me warm and the bivy cover keeps the other two sleeping bags uh, dry so again i'll be bugging out so uh, my time camping or my time as you were my time uh, resting is going to be very minimal um, my bug out location is 24 miles away from my current location right now so my whole purpose is to get to that location. So um, I've got a family. Um, my plan would be to at least um, ruck 12 miles halfway, make a, a cold camp really quick, and then utilize this three bag sleeping system. Um, so that was my rationale behind utilizing this sleeping system. Um, so yeah, my fourth item, the three bag USMC sleeping system. My fifth item of 
the five if I could only take five items to bug out with would be a firearm. Particularly, I would bring my Ruger new model Blackhawk conversion from 357 to nine millimeter. Now, the reason being is that I'm bugging out. So if I'm bugging out, then something's happened. Something has forced me to relocate because my residency is not safe anymore. Whether it be a man-made disaster, a natural disaster, um, uh, uh, it has, there's uh, civil unrest, whatever the reason, I am being forced from my primary home. And the probability that there is going to be chaos and uh, the potential chance of uh, violence, I want to ensure that I can go ahead and defend myself and my family. So um, this new model, Ruger new model Blackhawk is perfect. It's a six inch barrel, it's blued. Um, right now I've got the cylinder in it for 357. Here's a cylinder for nine millimeter. Uh, if I needed to use nine millimeter, I would just take the uh, current barrel or the current cylinder out and put that nine millimeter uh, cylinder in. Um, and this gun can shoot a variety of rounds too. And of course, if you can shoot 357, you can shoot 38 special. So the ability to shoot three separate calibers out of the same gun definitely is a force multiplier. So um, additionally, using this firearm, I can go ahead and use it for hunting as well. Um, like I've said several times in numerous videos, I live in North Florida. So even the bigger game is more on the smaller side, but um, outside of personal protection, if I have to hunt for small game, what I would probably utilize is the CCI 357-38 Special Shot Shell. Now, I've used this in the past in this, uh, in this uh, firearm, and it's definitely um, effective when it's close up. People call it rat shot, snake shot, but I can definitely use the CCI shot shells to harvest small game. Uh, birds, rabbits, um, squirrels, anything like that, I can go ahead and utilize um, this shot shell to harvest that game. So, um, yes, my fifth and final item would be a firearm, specifically my Ruger new model Blackhawk conversion. All right, YouTube, there you have it. Those were my five items that I would take with me if I could only take five items to bug out with. Um, one of the things that I struggled with while making this list was not including cordage. Now, out of all of these, these items that I have selected, um, the ability to make fire, a cutting tool, the ability to, to hold water and purify water, um, uh, cover with the uh, USMC three bag uh, sleeping system, and then the firearm to provide uh, personal protection and to hunt small game. Um, a lot of people would have selected quarters because um, with all of these items, these are the things that are the hardest to reproduce while in the bush or bugging out or anything like that. But the reason why I excluded cordage is because um, of a couple of reasons that I'll go ahead and share with you right now. One of the reasons is that uh, my boots that I care, that I uh, would be bugging out with, and then even the boots that I work in, and I go to work in, I replace the laces with about five feet of paracord per boot. Um, they're actually quite long and I have to wrap them around my ankles probably about twice and then go ahead and make my, uh, my uh, uh, boot knots 
So right there, that gives me 10 feet of paracord. And like I've said before, I live in North Florida. I actually live near the beach. So um, in my route to get to my bug out location, um, I have myself following a major interstate all the way outside of town, but it's within a tree line and that tree line is between the ocean and then a, some railroad tracks that goes almost all the way, I would say two thirds of the way to where my bug out location is. So um, with that being said, if I need any more cordage, if anybody has ever lived near the beach, then you know that uh, up on the beach and the waterways, you find a ton of fishing line hooks um, rope, all types of cordage, uh, water bottles for that matter, plastic water bottles, cans, all of that stuff um, washed up on the shore. So um, that was my thought process behind that, for excluding cordage because that is something that I could easily source in my location that asset and, and exclude it and be able to bring something else. So there you have it. Again, these were my five items. If I could only take five items to bug out with. Um, all right, YouTube, that's about it. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you like this content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, share with your friends, family. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your five items would be if you could only take five items to bug out with. Um, do you agree with my five items? Um, let me know what you would do differently. Let me know if you think that I'm spot on. Um, all right, YouTube, that's about it. This is Gunnery Sergeant 67. I'm out.